So in this video, I want to show you how to make um, a portfolio using PowerPoint. And this would just be a very basic type portfolio. So I've opened PowerPoint and um, I'm going to click on File, New, just to show you what it's going to look like. So it opens up like here. You'll see a blank presentation. Pick on blank presentation. In the screen, you're going to see two text boxes. If you click near the edge of it, it will light up. You can press delete. You can click near the edge of this one and delete that one. So we have a slide and we haven't set the size of that slide yet. So up here across the top, you're going to see the design tab. Click on design. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go all the way over to the right side where it says slide size and pick on the down arrow. Go to custom slide size. Those words right there. Click on that. Right here where it says width, highlight in there and type 17. And for height, highlight in there and type 11. And pick OK. And I would pick Ensure Fit. And so now you have your first 17 by 11 slide. At that point, I would go over here and I would do a file, Save As, and I would give this a name. Now I'm not going to save this one. The next thing I would do you can see that this slide over here on the left hand side, it's highlighted by that it has that red border around it. If you right click and you choose copy and, you, and then you just pick right below that and right click and choose paste, you can copy another slide. You can pick below that one, right click, paste. You could even then come in and pick and hold down the shift key and copy like three of those guys and then right click, copy, pick underneath there, right click, paste and so you could quickly make like 20 slides if that's what you wanted to do now actually what I would do is I, I would hold off on making a bunch of slides I would kind of customize one slide first but I wanted to show you how you can copy all that all right so I have my 117 by 11 slide now I'm going to go over here to the tabs and pick on the home tab and right here in the center you're going to see an icon that says rectangle. Pick on rectangle and you're going to cursor button pick and you can drag that all the way over here to the corner. Let me see if I can drag this off to the side. Alright, so what I have is this box and uh, I'm going to kind of get it where it's sort of centered on the sheet. I'm getting some message from my computer. But I want to show you something. I have that box highlighted. If I right click my mouse, I'm going to get a menu and I'm going to pick on Format Shape. And uh, what opens up is this little browser looking thing and there is a paint can. If you pick on the paint can and then you pick on this arrow right next to where it says Fill, you can pick No Fill if you want and that will take that fill out. Then come down and pick on Line. And what I want to do is make that line thicker. So I'm going to go to where it says width and I'm going to go inside there. I can pick on these up arrows and I can keep picking on those and watch the thickness as it goes by. Like that's 3.75 points. I'm going to just go 4 and enter. Okay, so that's what a line that was made using the rectangle command that has a thickness of 4 points would look like. Uh, another thing I can do is go to the Insert tab up here and go pick Text Box. And I'm going to come over here and pick. And you can see I can st start typing some text. I'm going to type, uh, put caps on, Floor Plan. And I'm going to highlight that text and go to Home and set that text height to 36. Now the other thing I can do is come over here to fill. I can choose solid fill and then a color. I'm going to pick on the down arrow here. I'm going to choose a light color. All right. So you can see I've got a color in there. Uh, the other thing I want to click on this guy. Um, what I want is to get a line. Let me click on that the edge of that again. Go to line and pick solid line right here. And I'm going to pick on the up arrow. And so I'm going to get a border around that that looks like a line. I'll bring that, just set it over here. Now, that is all editable. You know, I can go in there and change that text if I want to. 
uh, let's say that you wanted a logo from Autodesk. I'm gonna, I've opened up a browser here and I went to the Autodesk website. And uh, so we can see that, you know, I have this Autodesk logo right here. If I wanted to just capture that right there, one, one of the things I may be able to do on it is just go to my start button and, and type SNIP, S-N-I-P. And even before you get that far, you're going to pick on, you're going to see snipping tool. If you pick on snipping tool, drag this out of the way, pick new, and then just draw a rectangle around the logo. Go to edit right here and copy. And then you can close that down. Pick no, you don't want to save it. I'm going to drag that over. Then I'm going to come into my, inside my slide and right click and paste. And there is the Autodesk logo. Now I can stretch it to make it bigger if I want to. Uh, the other thing I can do is pick on the outside of it, pick on my paint can over here and go to solid line. And I can put a line around that and I'm going to have to make it the width a little bit thicker so I can bring that up. And you can see when I line this up, you're going to see a dashed line across. That means that the top edges of both of those pieces of text are at the same size. If I stretch this from the corner until I see that line across, that means they're the same width right there. All right, now if I pick inside here and right click and copy and pick below it and right click paste, I've got a slide, just a blank slide, and I have another blank slide. I could right click again and paste. I could come in and hold down shift, right click, copy, pick, right click, paste, and I can make multiple slides very quickly that way. All right. So now I want to put an image inside my slide. And the key to putting an image inside the slide is uh, opening a CAD program like Inventor or AutoCAD and printing the printing a drawing or whatever the image is that you want as a PDF. Uh, PDF will give you pretty good quality. And so I'm going to click on my PDF viewer that I have down here. So if you don't have Acrobat uh, Viewer or Adobe Viewer or something like that, you need to download it. So in my viewer, I can see a floor plan that I printed from AutoCAD and I can see a sheet that I printed from uh, Inventor. This is the assembly sheet for the butterfly valve. Alright, so once I have the PDF open, I'm going to go down to my start button again and start typing SNP. And remember you can also uh, you can pin the snipping tool to your toolbar or your taskbar if you want. Click on Snipping Tool. I'm going to go and make sure that your snipping tool is not where you want to copy. So I'm going to move it over to the side here. And I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to go above this view right here. And I'm going to stretch and move this down. And when I get everything enclosed that I want, I'm going to let go. And uh, let's see if I got that copied or not. It's not acting like it got a copy of that. Let me try that again. Pick. You know what? I don't think I'm in the snipping tool again. Let me go back to snip. Sorry about that. Click on snipping tool. Pick new. Pick here. Come across. This is going to work this time. Okay. I go to there. Let go. Okay, it snipped just that detail out, so I'm going to go up to Edit, pick on Edit, and pick Copy. And that's copied to my clipboard now. And now I'm going to come down here and pick on PowerPoint and go into my PowerPoint slide. I'm going to open the right one. Okay, I'm going to pick inside here. Then I'm going to right-click and paste. And so what's going to come in is that image that I have right there. Now, if I want to have Autodesk in there, I can. If I don't, I don't have to. If I want to move that over here, I could. You know, now's when you come in and you, you can arrange your, you know, your images and your text. This is where kind of the graphic design comes in. Now, 
if I want Autodesk to be in there, like I said, I could bring it over. Now, you can see as I move Autodesk there, it starts to disappear. That's because it went behind this image. So all I need to do is pick on the edge and right click and pick bring to front. That's my option. And I can bring that in front of that view. So let's say that I put that there. Now I want to show you something a little bit artier. If I stretch this text box in that direction, it makes the text run vertically. And I'm going to type butterfly space valve and put another space after that Y. Hopefully I can get it to give me a better space. There we go. Drag that over here to the side. So let's just say that's what I was looking for in the way of something that's a little bit artier. You can even stretch that in a little bit. You want it to be the same on both sides, right? Oh, I've got butterfly. I have valve misspelled. That would be bad in your portfolio. All right. So there is an example of how you would create a slide. Now, I want to show you something. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. And you can see that there's pretty good quality uh, by going from snippet out of a PDF. All right. Now I'm going to pick on my next slide. I'm going to pick on my PDF viewer. And this time I'm going to go to my AutoCAD floor plan. And again, I'm going to pick the snip, snipping tool. Uh, I'm going to move this over to the side. I'm going to pick on new, drag this over. And this time I'm going to pick and I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to take a detail out of this floor plan. Let's say that that's what I want right there. I'm going to pick. I'll go up to edit, pick copy. That copies that to the clipboard. I'll come down and pick on PowerPoint. Move in here, right click paste. My image comes in here. I'm going to stretch the image by the corners. Don't stretch it from the sides or it'll compress it. If you compress it, pick an undo. And uh, right up here, you can do an undo or a redo. All right, so that's my uh, detail from, from AutoCAD. But you can see that it is covering my text boxes and my logo. So what I'm going to do is pick on, on that image, right click, and pick Send to Back. And at that point, I can move it. I can make it bigger, smaller, whatever I want to do. So I want you to look at my two slides. This is my mechanical slide. And, uh, you know, let me show you something else I could even do with this slide. You can pick and right click and paste. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to pick and right click and copy. And that will copy this. And then I can right click paste. It'll make a copy of that. Now I'm going to pick on that and then pick on the format tab up here and choose crop. And you can see these little black rectangles. I'm going to pick on this rectangle right here and drag that up. And uh, in fact, I need to drag that image a little bit. Make my image smaller so I can see the black rectangle. Drag that black rectangle in like that. And so really what I've done is cropped that other image so I can drag this and make it bigger if I want to. All right. Now let's say I want to cover this guy up. I can go to home and I can make a rectangle and I can draw a rectangle that covers that. I can go over to fill. I want to keep a solid fill, but I'm going to set my color of my fill to white. Let's see. Like that. And on line, I want no line. And if I do that, what I have then is I've just placed a rectangle in front of that. So now let's look at that slide. If I pick on my slideshow, you can see what that looks like. All right. So uh, there's my architectural slide. It looks like I need, would need to move this up a little bit to cover some of that text or else move this down. So there's my arch architectural slide. Here's my mechanical slide. I'm going to press Escape, go over to this slide, and you can see when I move 
move that down right up here. You see where that text is? I can put that behind. And then I would just do a file, save, and save this. When I'm ready uh, to produce it, when I have all my slides made, I can do a file, save as Adobe PDF, and just give it a name as an Adobe PDF, and that's what you would send to me. All right? So good luck. I hope this helps, and I hope it works for you.